afternoon, brethren. I'm so grateful that I am one of the concluding speaker this priesthood devotional. My topic this afternoon is about finding strength in these challenging times. Now, I would like to show you on how we are going to strengthen ourselves in this challenging time. I would like to talk about three important aspects in how we are going to face the challenges. First is is my beloved son. Hear him. Joseph, thy sins are forgiven thee. Behold, I am the Lord of glory. I was crucified for the world, that all those who believe on my name may have eternal life. in sin. They've turned aside from the gospel and keep not my commandments. They draw near to me with their lips, while their hearts are far from me. They teach for doctrines the commandments of men, having the form of godliness, but they deny the power thereof. Go not after them. Wait patiently. At a future time, the complete truth of the gospel will be revealed to you. When the light had departed, I had no strength. Peace and calm filled my mind. My soul was filled with love. I could rejoice with great joy, and the Lord was with me. I had received a promise that the fullness of the gospel should at some future time be made known unto me. And I had actually seen a light, and in the midst of that light I saw two personages, and they did, in reality, speak to me. I knew it, and I knew God knew it, and I could not deny it. Is be faithful. Is testify. Is selling things, then I guess we are. 
Serving God for 18 months to two years is actually completely optional. In fact, we pay our own way to come and serve Him wherever we are called to serve in the world. Jesus Christ is the Savior of the world, and that's why our church has His name in it. Mormon is just a nickname that people give us. Our real name is the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. This is His Church. Whatever questions you have about us or our church, feel free to ask. We love questions. You can stop the local missionaries in your area, or you can go to comingtochrist.org. Thank you, brethren, for listening to the important aspect of life. Now, I would like to share a story. There was a brother who wanted to gather a pile of woods in order to make his house a little bit warm during the winter. As he arrived in the place, his truck got stuck and cannot get away. This brother had done different things. He pushed the reverse gear and stepped on the clutch and the gas to move backward. But it didn't move. So he checked his wheel. If it is okay. After that, he made a try again. Making the truck move backward. But to the point of no avail. So, he didn't pick up some twigs or little branches of woods and put it under the wheel and then tried it on again and yet the truck couldn't move away it is seriously stuck on the side then this brother Move to the other side. Stay for a while and offer a prayer. Talking to our Heavenly Father. Then after that, he continued to do his plan to gather a pile of woods. Now, as the sun goes down and noticed that nobody or even accidentally passed by to where he was. So he went back to his car and say a brief prayer. I thought thou sent anybody for help. This man's thinking. Talking to our Heavenly Father. After that, he looked at the key and tried a little bit more. And then, trying it on the car. Putting the reverse into position and push down the clutch and the gasoline mixed it together perfectly. As to that moment, The truck moved away 
and continue to move backward. Then this brother, with a thankful heart, offer a silent prayer saying, Thank you. Addressing Heavenly Father. Now, as this brother driving the way, he stopped and wondered, How could that truck move away? As he looked at the rear of the mirror, he found a pile of woods and smiled thinking. Because of the woods and the weight of the truck becomes heavier, this helps the truck gives extra strength to move away. I would like to testify, brethren, our loads, our problems, our challenges, or every single hardship that we encounter in this life will help us to be refined and to make us grow, learn, and improve. And we will become a better person, a better child to our parents, a better friend, a better husband, a better father, a better priesthood holder. Move on, brethren. Hold on to the iron rod, which is the word of God. And look upon to our rock of salvation, the Redeemer, our Master Healer, even Jesus Christ. I know, brethren, that if we are prayerful, faithful, and testify what we experienced in our life as we keep the commandments of the Lord. I know that the Lord will bless us and He will always guide and lead us the way that we may be successful in all of our endeavors. Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ love us so much. Be faithful. Be prayerful. All the time. Thank you brethren for your testimony. I know it is true and I share this in the sacred name of Jesus Christ. Amen.